What's up guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, uh, yeah, so much stuff going on. Uh, you know, lately, uh, considering everything that is uh, apparently at stake, I cannot, uh, in all good conscience, just talk about crypto, okay? Um, as I've said before, if things don't go the right way, we won't care about crypto. That's just my opinion. I'm actually pretty sure that will be the case uh, if the right person does not get in office and that person is the one who is currently in office now. This will only take us another four years, but hey, that's another four years of, of positivity from what I can see. Now, I'm going to get into all that. I just wanted to kind of go over a little bit on crypto, and then I'm going to just show you some of the stuff that I have seen here, that, you know, just to inform you guys and give you my angle, you know, or my way of seeing things. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right. As we can see here, Bitcoin itself is already over 13,000. Uh, XRP has only climbed what 20 you know to 25 cents i mean what what did we gain like you know a cent or, or two cents something like that um personally hey that's fine honestly i have not been staying on top of it like i uh i had been in the past but you know it is what it is guys we just have to uh just continue to be patient i personally thought xrp would be further along than than where we are now but Hey, that's just just not happened. Uh, I've seen some some uh, tweets saying that we're gonna see these huge prices. Um, I really hope that is the case, but guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening anytime uh, in the very near future. Uh, anything could happen. I don't want to say that it's impossible, but given everything that's going on i i just can't see xrp uh going to you know a hundred dollars or i mean i think i someone was saying it was going to go to four digits i i just i can't see that happening at one one time i thought it was possible but i just personally don't see that happening now uh considering the shutdowns and all that stuff it's just you know with the you know all these economies really crashing and all that in our economy uh, taking a hit it's it's better now but I mean honestly the US economy is you know in the balance I mean if if the wrong person gets in I can tell you right now you can hang that completely you can just hang it in the closet and forget about it because it ain't happening there the oil <laughs> all the oil is gonna be shut down all manufacturing and industry is gonna be shut down I mean, you will be doing, uh, you, you'll be doing good to be able to feed yourselves and your children, which likely uh, that won't happen. So, anyway, uh, I don't want to sound, you know, all doom and gloomish, but look, I'm just going by what the man himself is saying, and and actually, the person that will be the president um, <laughs> is even worse than this, uh, yeah, this guy. But we'll get into that. So, um, what did I want to talk about here is this XRP moving approximately 3 billion in remittances from us to Mexico, according to the founder of, of uh, crypto exchange Bitso. So, you know, we know that this corridor has always been, uh, since kind of the start of all of this has been the best corridor for, for XRP. So, you know, this, there's no surprise. I mean, it's just growing and, and, uh, continuing to grow. Uh, and, and like I said, if if we um, move in the right direction, this can only get bigger. bigger. Um, so I, I, it is, you know, again, guys, anything can happen after this election. Um, it's it's really it's really hard to say what's going to happen simply because, hey, there's no guarantee in, in how, you know, things are going to turn out. So let's just keep our hopes up you know you know if you're a praying person <laughs> definitely pray 
because uh, our, our lives are literally in the balance. Okay, so a couple things um, I'll move on into and then I'll be pretty much done, you know, with some other uh, things I will, <laughs> I will kind of share with you guys. But anyway, something I, I did tweet about a little while ago and I just found extremely funny because I watched a uh, a clip of Kamala saying this and, you know, old Pedo Joe himself said this. And, yeah, this is apparently a gaffe or a, you know, mistake or or it could just it could be on purpose because psychologically this does affect people. Now, any rational minded person would know that it would be impossible, even if the 19 was as bad as they say, right? It would be impossible for for things to be the way they are with this many people dead. Okay? Impossible. I mean, guys, let's just go back to a very widely known movie. Infinity War. Okay? <laughs> now, when, uh, when the snap was done, right? How many people died in the universe? Half of the people died, or I won't say died, were taken out, okay? Were just removed from the universe. Now, guys, do you remember how desolate it was just in the, in the different scenes while that was, you know, in place, okay? It was, I mean, it was a ghost town. There were hardly any people around, all that, and that would be absolutely true, okay? Now, guys... 200 million people from the U.S. population. There's only uh, a, about 350 million people. And actually, I think, uh, actually, Kamala said 220 million. But that's roughly about a third, or rather, two-thirds of the people in the U.S. The average American family, last time I checked, was said to have 3.2 people in you know, in the family, right? So basically mom, dad, a kid, and a dog or a cat or whatever, okay? That's, I guess, you know, what they always said the point to was, which is not really that. It's just that's the way the figures worked out. But basically three people. So that would mean two people out of every, at the average American home, would be dead, leaving one person. Now, just foregoing that fact, think of the other people who would then be committing suicide because their loved ones are gone. I mean, already we do have a lot of people who are dying because of the shutdowns, not because of, of the 19, okay? Because of the shutdowns, people are committing suicide because they've lost their jobs, they've lost things in their lives. I mean, it, it, it has nothing to do, uh, you know, with people being lost because of the 19. It's the effects of the, of the um, uh, measures that were taken, which were totally, totally ridiculous. Now, this right here, just the fact that we got two people that are supposedly in the run or that are in the running to become the leaders of the US saying this I mean come on well, this doesn't make any sense how in the world it how in the world can can anybody run a country if they are saying this type of thing you if you're that incompetent you are too incompetent to, you are vastly incompetent to run a country, much less the United States. Okay, there, because we have so many, di so much uh, going on here. They're, they're, this is a very dynamic country. There is no way they would be competent. And speaking about the competency, speaking about the just the, the corruption 
and the compromised morals of this old pedo Joe. I mean, let's let's talk about the laptop from hell, and and then on top of that, how badly the 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 MSM is treating this. I mean, they are trying to cover this up like cat, a cat covers up crap. Yet, it's all out. Even a people in uh, newscasters in Australia are talking about this. This is not going to go away. The guy is corrupt. Oh, Pedo Joe is corrupt. He's compromised. And to be honest with you, I don't understand why this guy is not in prison right now but hey when you have the mega money behind you like he does i guess really you can get away with anything but this is ridiculous i mean look at how they are uh, uh, like here huffington post trump launches confusing baseless laptop what are you talking about trump didn't launch anything this was the this was the sun's laptop that he refused to go and pick up because he didn't want to pay the people he gave up his rights to the laptop and they just found the crap on his laptop even the fbi was trying to cover it up okay but it goes on new york magazine trump tries to make laptop look it's worse than hillary it's worse than that hillary as bad as hillary is she has nothing on old pedo joe Nothing at all. He is a mastermind at corruption. All right, and it goes on. They they just try to try to minimize it, and they don't cover it. The main you will not see this on the mainstream media. Yet they come back and try to make all these other that say that Trump is lying and all that. Well, hey, I tell you what, you listen to that uh, debate that they <laughs> they had. Who was the one lying? I mean. Oh, Pedo Joe is on tape saying the, the things that he said that he didn't say. The, I mean, it makes no sense at all. This is absolutely unbelievable. Yet there are people so ignorant out there. And I'm going to tell you, I got people very close to me who are so utterly ignorant to the facts that they would they would go totally against themselves and vote someone in that will strip them of the very meager things that they have. It is absolutely ridiculous how badly we've been dumbed down. The majority of the population in the United States, I mean, don't have two brain cells to rub together. That is how bad it is here. And, I, and I'm not just talking about the people, well, uh, let me let me just make sure that you understand. I'm not just talking about the people who are supporting Opito Joe. There are plenty of Republicans who have hardly two damn brain cells to rub together because they think that their racist values are what the current president upholds. And that is not true. Everybody here... Every, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people in the U.S. just don't understand that it is not about what the MSM tries to make us think. It is about us coming together and building together, understanding that everyone has the right to live a safe and comfortable life. Not impoverished, not cons not worried about getting their electricity turned off, not worried about uh, uh, how they're going to eat, or uh, rats and and roaches and and just I mean all the all the terrible things that so many people here have to worry about. It's it's we can utterly crush that. We just have to have the right people in the leadership position. And that is what we should all be focusing on. It is not about race. Yes, we are all different. Yes, we have different backgrounds. But to be honest with you, in the times that have passed, you know that we are so utterly mixed up at this point. 
it makes really makes no difference. I mean, I can tell you right now, I know black people that are darker than the most than most of the, the population, yet they have a very close relative who was white within two or three generations. I mean, it, what what are we talking about? And then even vice versa. It, it, it makes no sense for us to be fighting over these petty things that we are, we are baited into fighting over. I mean, when the real problem, problem is that we have a bunch of oligarchs who are in power over us and they are stealing our livelihoods. They're stealing everything from us, including our children, including our children who some kids go missing and they are in the human trafficking trafficking sex trade or whatever you want to call it it is mind-blowing i know most people are just normal people to get up and go to work every day it is some it is hard to fathom that there would be people doing something so utterly diabolical but folks, it's time to realize that there is evil in the world. And there's really, really, I mean, it, it's the most terrible things you can think of. It's 10 times worse than that. These, that's how bad these people are. It, it's unbelievable. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off my soapbox. It just, it is, <laughs> it doesn't take long to, you know, to get a lot of time behind you because there's just there's just so much and and you know guys if you have anything that you want to contribute you want to say get off your chest put it in the comments and we all you, you know you all know it please like subscribe if you feel that it's you know this video is worthy of it uh, that's that would be great I'd really appreciate you and all of you that have stuck around with me uh, through my um, uh, times of just not showing up i really appreciate it honestly guys my problem has been i've just the stuff that i've come across it it's been hard for me to get on here and talk about crypto when our lives are at stake anyway guys that's all i have to say uh, thank you again for joining me until next time this has been mr free corner Take care of yourselves and God bless you.